Stephen Benoon and you're watching Israeli News Live. Having a bit of a celebration there at the Tomb of David yesterday uh, with uh, one of the rabbis there went through the, the, the blessing. But one thing that caught my attention was a Catholic monk bringing in visitors into the tomb. Now, it's nothing wrong with there are many, many Christian people that visit the Tomb of David, but it, it brought something else, something else to memory as I have been watching the construction for the last five, six months throughout Israel. The major highways that are being built uh, through the north of the country, in fact, the major highway they're building up there comes from the Golan all the way down to the West Bank and into Jerusalem. And of course, they've been widening the main highway, Interstate 1, that comes up from Tel Aviv, uh, from Ben Gurion Airport, right into Jerusalem. And then we have the new rail system that's being built there. All this infrastructure, and of course, we would think is for the expanding of the Jewish state. But it doesn't really seem to look like that now. As we know that the Pope of Rome actually came and, and had a communion service last year on Mount Zion and, and overtook uh, King David's tomb, and then officially they had a communion service in the tomb of David as well the week following, the Jewish people have been, begin, have begun realizing that they are losing their own city. And recently we reported to you that the Palestinian police are now policing armed police in Judea and Samaria in the neighboring uh, Jewish uh, neighborhoods there, and as well as in some parts of the Jewish, uh, excuse me, in the parts of Jerusalem. But something did catch my attention recently, something I thought I'd bring to your attention. Because some people might say, well, what does building highways have to do with anything? I believe they're doing an international city, preparing Jerusalem to be exactly what Shimon Peres envisioned in 1993 at the Oslo uh, Peace Accord when he signed the agreement with the Vatican. Well, of course, we don't have control of Jerusalem, and it is obvious that what the Vatican is trying to do is to make Israel fulfill biblical prophecy without the Messiah being the one to fulfill it, to make it a city of all nations. Well, what would make me think that in the first place? An unusual part of the construction of the interstate coming up from Tel Aviv is what makes me think this. In an area there, as it winds through the mountains, we have two huge arches that have been built over the new interstate, and you can already see where the third arch will be in the, and possibly a fourth arch as they widen this area out to where you will have to go through a checkpoint. These arches kind of look like what a tunnel would look like at first, but the only thing is, it's not under the mountain. It's not going under any dirt or anything like that. But it is obviously being created as a checkpoint. And what would that matter about that? Well, you're going into Jerusalem. And Jerusalem right now is part of Israel. Since 1967 war, Israel conquered Jerusalem, and so therefore it has now come under Israeli control. But if there's going to be a checkpoint now, Who's really going to have control of Jerusalem? It's beginning to look like Israel will not have that control. Now, they may share the control, but it is obviously beginning to look like an international city. And they're widening all these highways. And not just from the north, even from the south. I was told by a Palestinian that they're making a huge interstate coming in from another direction into Israel, into the capital there. And what are they doing? They're getting it ready to where all nations will be able to flow into Jerusalem. And as he said to me, Jerusalem is probably the safest place on earth. He said, even the Iranians don't want to see Jerusalem destroyed. All the nations of the earth want to see it preserved. The Vatican wants it preserved. The Iranians want it preserved. The Arab world wants it preserved. The Christian world wants it preserved. And it's certainly the Jewish world wants it preserved. But unfortunately... It will not be a city for Israel until Messiah comes and takes it all back. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.